Welcome to Global Defense News and Analysis, your number one trusted source for independent journalism, where we bring you the latest insights on global military developments, defense strategies, and technological advancements. Russian drone with solar panels lands in Ukraine to recharge, a new chapter in drone warfare. In a development that marks a striking innovation in battlefield drone technology, a Russian reconnaissance drone equipped with solar panels has reportedly landed in Ukrainian-controlled territory for recharging. The event, which took place in mid-July 2025, has triggered widespread attention among defense experts and military analysts, highlighting the increasingly sophisticated and self-sufficient nature of unmanned aerial systems in modern warfare. A solar-powered tactical breakthrough, according to verified reports and images circulating online, the drone, believed to be either a prototype or a modified off-the-shelf model, was fitted with lightweight commercial-grade solar panels across its wingspan. These solar arrays are not powerful enough to sustain flight independently, but they are sufficient to gradually recharge the drone's battery when stationary on the ground. This new approach gives drones the ability to extend their mission endurance without the need for retrieval, traditional charging stations, or logistic support. This is the first confirmed case of a Russian drone using solar energy as a field-based recharging mechanism in the Ukrainian conflict. The solar cells, weighing less than half a kilogram and costing around $50, offer a cost-effective way to create semi-autonomous aerial sentries. Analysts believe such drones could potentially operate for multiple days in the field, monitoring activity by night and recharging during daylight hours. Tactical implications and design The deployment method suggests a shift in Russian drone doctrine toward energy autonomy and low-profile operations. Rather than returning to base, the drone appears to have been designed to operate in a loitering or ambush configuration. After flying a surveillance or reconnaissance mission, it can land in a pre-selected hidden location and recharge during the day. It's unclear whether this specific drone was programmed for automated landing and recharging, or if it was manually guided. Ukrainian forces have also been experimenting with similar tactics. Reports from earlier this year indicate that Ukraine has deployed camouflaged solar-powered drone recharge stations across forested and urban areas, often disguised as civilian structures or debris. This shows a broader trend of both sides leveraging green energy to sustain drone fleets in contested environments where infrastructure is vulnerable or unreliable. Rising use of renewable tech in war The application of solar technology in military UAVs is not entirely new. Solar-powered high-altitude drones like the US Zephyr or China's Kaihong T-4 exist for strategic surveillance. However, the use of small tactical drones with solar-assisted endurance in active combat zones is a relatively new and rapidly evolving field. These developments open the door for future unmanned systems capable of semi-permanent presence over areas of interest, functioning almost like solar-powered aerial CCTV sentries. Such technology also minimizes the logistical footprint and reduces the risk to human operators who would otherwise be required to recover or refuel the drones. For lower-intensity or guerrilla-style warfare, this could dramatically alter how reconnaissance and harassment operations are conducted. The bigger picture This incident demonstrates a growing convergence between consumer electronics, renewable energy, and military-grade drone design. With increasingly affordable components and more efficient solar cells, the battlefield of the future may see a wave of autonomous or semi-autonomous UAVs capable of operating independently for extended periods, monitoring, relaying intelligence, or even striking targets on short notice. For now, the Russian drone landing in Ukraine to sunbathe and recharge is a symbolic moment, one that highlights how technological adaptation continues to shape the dynamics of the Russia-Ukraine conflict. What do you think? Could solar-powered drones redefine long-range surveillance missions? Should NATO countries adopt similar models for persistent border monitoring? Thank you for tuning in to Global Defense News and Analysis, your go-to source for accurate, in-depth coverage of military developments worldwide. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell icon, and share this with others who value independent journalism. Thank you for listening to Global Defense News.